Hello and welcome to this training video which is going to show you how to mail merge letters using Microsoft Word 2010. Here's a sample scenario. Company has updated contracts of its employees and placed all the information for every employee affected in this file called employees.csv. Uh, the task is to mer merge all the data from this file for every employee with a contract.rtf master document. Uh, at the end of this, every employee will have a page in this file which contains his contract information. I'm going to minimize this and take a look at my employees file. My employees file looks like that. Uh, I won't change anything from it, but in there there is the, the start date. It doesn't look, it's not visible because the column is too small, so I'm just going to show you, double click on that to show it to you. Here's the data for all the employees that we are looking at. I'm going to close this file without saving it. Now I'm going to look at my contract file, how it looks, and what needs to be merged. You can see that uh, at the very beginning, we need a date in there, today's date. Probably I would write the word date, and then put today's date, which is 26.05.2015. I might highlight this, select it, and then just make it a bold. Okay, next. Now I need to start the mail merge. And the mail merge, if you remember, happen or exist under mailings, start mail merge, step by step mail merge wizard, and it's a six step process again. I am merging letters this time before we looked at labels. I'm going to choose start the document, and in here I'm going to use the current document. I now need to select the recipients, which is that file, so I'm going to click on browse, desktop. I have a folder in there called mail merge letters, it's in there, and this is my employees file. I click it and here is my data that I was looking at, but I'm looking at it through the mail merge wizard. I remind you, just a quick reminder, you can still filter, so I might want to look at uh, transportation and say, uh, show me staff or employees who have 500 for transportation, then I'll get this, or any other form of uh, filtering which we have looked at uh, before. Uh, for this purpose, I'm just going to keep uh, leave all the letters in. I could uh, sort, again, under family name, for example, I want to sort ascending, then I will have them in ascending order. I'm going to click OK when I'm done with this. Now I need to insert the necessary information into there. First, I'm going to say dear, whatever the, his name is, uh, the person. This will happen after I click write your letter. In the right, my letter, my letter is already written, I just need the uh, fields from the file, and they come under more items. I click on this. I choose first name and last name and close. And I have first name and last name there. I do need a space in between them. Can you see that there isn't a space? I could actually show you that there is a problem there. If I click preview your letters, you will actually see Phil Blount. They actually do have a space. I'm not sure why. But uh, what I would do, I would actually just leave a space in there just in case. Okay. Next, I'm going to place more items. I'm going to repeat the first name, family name again. And I'm going to leave a space. Position is going to be position. Close. Start date. You can see it's just a, I'm repeating the same thing again and again for every item. More items. I have salary. Then I have housing allowance. Then I have transportation. Not sure why this is bold, but eventually we're going to change all of them to bold and then total salary. Okay, so I'm going to select each and every one of those and then just make it bold. I'm using a shortcut. You can just go with it that way. B, but for uh, speed purposes, I'm just doing it uh, with a control B, which does the same thing. So I'm selecting the whole field. Okay. And I'm going to choose control B. Same thing there. Same thing there. On top of that, you might want to put a, a, a currency in there. I'm just going to choose the dollar for now. And in there, I'm going to choose the dollar again for everything that's currency. Remember, in Microsoft Word, we don't have this format, so we have to do it manually. And at the very end, I am going to act as the director. This is for the examination purposes, so every page has your name, center number, and candidate number on it. And this is done. You do need to print this one. So when I uh, choose File, Print, I need to print this one to actually show that you have used or we have used actual field names okay so this is the master document you can do a screenshot or a print no big deal when I click 
preview the letters, you will see that the first um, employee's information have already been placed there. And if I click um, complete the mail merge and edit individual letters, I click OK. Remember how many? We had nine employees, and I have nine pages. Each one for each page is for an employee, as you can see there. Okay, these could be printed depending on the, what the question says. Usually the question or the examiner wants to see either one or two printouts. So we need to see this one plus, remember, this produced a new file. So I have a new file called letters1. I'm just going to save that and I'm going to call them merged letters. Okay, close that. I'm going to close the original file and I don't need to save it because supposedly I printed it already. I'm going to close the question just to go back and look at my my actual files. So I took all the names from there, merged them with this file, and I produced this one. This is the one I need to print, uh, and this will be my final product. I hope this process was uh, simple enough, and it helps you prepare for the practical exam. Uh, looking forward to talking to you again with my next video.